What's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to TechStream. So today, thanks to the guys over at XPG Adata, we're taking a look at their new eMix H20 gaming headset. <clears throat> so, the eMix H20 gaming headset is a bit of a budget option, coming in at around about £35, and it is just a relatively standard two driver headset with a microphone and a little bit of RGB thrown in for good measure. So we'll start off with the obvious bits. The actual headset now is a mainly plastic construction, okay, with an adjustable headband, a little flip down microphone. It doesn't mute or anything when you lift it up like some do, okay, and it is actually adjustable a little bit, okay. There's obviously this is made out of uh, silicon rubber. There is obviously a wire in there just so that it stays where you put it, okay. Ear cups made out of a faux leather, fake leather, as well as a fake leather band in the top here just to sit above your head just to give you a little bit of cushioning. There is a little plastic red strip around there and we do have RGB lighting on the sides of the cups. Okay, Now there is a nice braided cable about 8 foot in length with a controller a couple of foot away from the headset itself. Okay, Cup, con uh, controller is just made out of plastic does feel a little bit cheap, rattles a little bit if you flick it, but on the whole, nothing too bad, bit of cable relief on either end of it, and we do have a few buttons. We've got plus and minus for volume, we do have a microphone mute button, and the RGB button. Now the RGB on these is simply a case of, it is either, if I can keep hold of the controller, on or off. That is the only option, on or off, and it does just sit there and goes through the typical sort of RGB spectrum. Like I said, there's no way of controlling that. You just get spectrum. Packaging wise, it doesn't come in a massive amount. It is only a budget headset, but packaging, nice little box. Plenty of information on the back as to what it is. Like I said, this is just a standard headset. It is actually USB rather than a pair of three and a half. They do say it offers virtual 7.1 surround, but I'll leave 7.1 virtual surround up to you to decide whether or not you think it works. Personally, it's a bit of a marketing gimmick. But this is powered by a pair of high fidelity 50mm drivers. I have found the actual sound quality is very, very good. I found a lot of cheap headsets at this sort of price point. Quite often they either feel very tinny um, or a bit murky. Um, these ones though, nice and clear sound, no issues with sort of uh, buzzing and things at high volumes or anything like that and even at low volumes everything's still very clear so as a budget option yeah they're, they're quite good okay they don't match the sound quality of my AKG studio headset not in a chance but then again I think the, power, uh, the, the cord attached to that cost as much as these so you can't really complain too much like I said there is a nice 8 foot cable so you can get plenty of reach. It is a USB, so effectively there is a DAC or a sound card built into these. It does not rely on the use of your rear audios. It does also mean that if you're using speakers that are plugged into your 3.5s, you can also plug these in at the back. You don't have to plug them in at the front or anything like that. Um, USB headsets are getting more and more common and I actually quite like them because it removes that variation that you can have with sound cards. These will sound the same on any computer that you plug them in because they're using their own sound card, their own um, effectively their own software, their own settings, all built into this. So that has been quite good. So what I have also done though, because a few people have requested it, we've done a microphone test here. Okay, so I'm going to bring up a bit of b-roll and we're going to bring up the microphone test. So this is a quick test of the XPG H20 gaming headset. Um, we're going to do a little bit of bashing on a keyboard. We're going to do a few mouse clicks and see just how it comes out. So there we go. That was the microphone test. The microphone is nothing to shout home about. I'm not going to lie. It's not amazing, but then I've also heard a lot worse. I do like the fact the microphone is on a boom. You can get the microphone quite close to your face. You don't have to then worry about having to shout for the microphone to pick you up. It is nice and close, nicely adjustable. Okay, so the microphone, yeah, it's not amazing, but if you're sitting there playing a game with your mates, 
they're not going to be complaining that you sound like rubbish or they can't hear you or anything like that. It, it does do the job. Now, when it came to actually wearing these, I'm quite surprised. I found them very, very comfortable. They do just sit just right. They apply just the right amount of head pressure. And the other quite surprising thing, they are uh, closed cup headphones and they do do a, quite a good job of sealing out the surrounding noises, really. I can't really hear a massive amount. I do feel very muted and it makes you feel a little bit isolated and it allows you to get into the zone when you're playing a game. Pretty much the best way to describe it. You can also see they do rotate. It does just mean that if you need to put them in a bag, they will sit flat. Just take up a little bit less space than if they were like that. So they do rotate round. And again, there's no creaks, no rattles. It, overall, for a budget headset, the build quality is actually surprisingly good. So the XPG H20, what did I actually think of it? At £35, I think you can't really go wrong. I'm very surprised that this hasn't had more publicity. I did a quick YouTube search. There's almost no other review of this. And I don't know why. Obviously, XPG themselves, A-Data, they've not really pushed it. And I think it's a bit of a shame because the sub-50-pound headset is quite often rubbish. Not going to lie. They're quite often they're pretty bad. This is a bit of a golden goose. I'm very surprised to see something that sounded this good, had a microphone that was actually usable. It even has a bit of RGB and you can even turn it off. And it's also USB. So, okay, yeah, you can't plug it into things like, I don't, well, I say this, I don't believe you can plug it into your PlayStation or your Xbox because I believe you need to be using three and a half for those. But if you're going to plug this into a PC, it's a great little buy. Now, if you can, do go to a store try a set on make sure they feel good but I will put some links down below to Amazon where you can buy them and if you don't like them Amazon's great refund policy does mean you can just send it straight back but if you're looking for a sub 50 pound headset I don't think you really you can go wrong with the H20 okay it would have been nice if the RGB uh, as with like the cheap cases if I could cycle through if I could just choose a color that would have been nice. As it is, you can only choose a spectrum. Um, if I had the ability to choose a fixed color, if we just had fixed colors and spectrum, that would have made it just that little bit better. But hey, you can just turn it off if you don't like the colors. The RGB on this, it's a bit of a, just a bonus. So that's about it for the H20 review. I'm actually gonna give it a big thumbs up because for the price, I don't think you can really go wrong. So that's about it for today. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, not a problem. If you've got any recommendations or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. Always do my best to try and answer every question. And as always, if you want to see more of me, I am here pretty much every Saturday. I'm actually a little bit late today, so I must apologise. And don't forget, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell. On that note, guys, thank you very much and bye for now.